Hello, artists, we're back. So we did drawing a, um, talked about drawing 3D, voila, with the horizon line, things go off into space and they get so small that they vanish before. That was video one in the series. Then we did a bird's eye view of a city and I showed you how to draw those in some details. But what if you're a worm? What then, huh? What if I wanted to look up? I saw this drawing online and I thought this was a really cool view. So, um, I played with this and how could we make this work if you were a student interested in perspective drawing? Now, similar to the bird's eye view, the vanishing point is on is off in the distance and right in front of us. Now, when we were drawing 3D objects before, we had to have a horizon line to show us where the land meets the sky and where our eye level is. Well, here, the eye level is like so far above that the land meets the sky, that no, it's just land. And here is the opposite because there's no land. We're just looking up into the sky. So our vanishing point, that point off in the distance where everything vanishes, is all the way up there. I can't even see it, it's vanished. So up here, something on my paper, I'm going to make my vanishing point right in the center of the image. Now the difference here is in the past because we were above and we saw the tops of buildings, we drew shapes to start out with. So we had squares and rectangles and circles, and that's pretty standard for most of one point perspective. But what changes here is we can't see that edge at all because the bottom of the building is on the ground and the top of the building is above us. So we're only seeing sides. That's what makes this one a little tricky. So if I were to do this, I am going to start by drawing just edges which is what I would do if I was drawing in two-point perspective. That's the next, but I'm just gonna draw, let's see, maybe I'll do something like this, and we go down, make this one a little bigger, but I'm just gonna come around, here's a little one, here's a bigger one, this is, sure, this big, maybe we make one here, and I would just basically be drawing the top corner edge of each of the buildings that I'm drawing. Now, I'm gonna talk about the corners here in just a little bit because that's that gets a little bit different. So now, just like before, I always connect my corners to the vanishing point. So I go to the vanishing point like it's a pivot. Now I'm not gonna draw from here to here because this is the sky. So I'm gonna draw from my vanishing point to the line and I'm, and I'm trying to think of what this is gonna be. This is in my head, this is the building. So that goes there and then here, here's my vanishing point. This goes here and then this goes to the edge of the building. This is the big white building. And then here, this is gonna go, so, so let's see, this is sky, that's building, so I need the corner. This is here, this is sky, this is a building, so I need the corner. I'm going to draw the corner. So I start at the line and draw away from the line to get those buildings. And this is pretty simplistic because I don't wanna make you watch me draw too many things, but you would draw, whoops. Um, I would start with more lines if I were actually going to make this into a city. I'm gonna do one more over here to make my point later. So, about what happens in the corners. Because something happens. Corners, they get tricky. It's all about the corners and perspective. All right, so now, voila! You can start to see the buildings taking shape. And just like before, if I'm going to um, make these look like the windows are coming at me, I'm gonna use this as my pivot point. Let's mark this. We got the centimeters here. Let's go every half a centimeter. That's too many. I changed my mind. We're gonna go back to half inches because you'll get the idea quicker and you don't need to watch me draw that much. I know attention spans are short. Mm-hmm, I know you people. So, start with the vanishing point. That is my pivot. I find all of my half inch little tick marks. And I wanna differentiate this top build, this top section of the building. So maybe here, I make these every quarter inch. And then these would go from the vanishing point to those tick marks. Like I saw. So I now have, oh. This is not my best edges, right? But that's why we keep erasers next to us when we're drawing in pencil and doing perspective drawing. This one don't look right either, does it? 
we'll come back to that. So now I have these. I can start to see the building coming into the center. I see it going off into space. But I want to make um, these go off in the distance. Now I have another trick for you. If you put your ruler or your straight edge, remember we're at home if you don't have a straight edge, box of noodles works great, edge of a cereal box works great, and I'm gonna do little teeny lines on all of these lines, like so. And what happens there is that tells me, I can line up my ruler with the edge, how exactly to make these lines get further and further away as they're further and further from the vanishing point. It's a lovely little trick. So as I go here, I didn't show that on the bird's eye view video because you end up working on a smaller scale, but these things get big. So by doing that, look, it's believable that things get further apart as they're closer to me and smaller and smaller as they go to the vanishing point. I can do the same thing up here. So I draw, uh, take a diagonal line from one corner to the next. I make those little tick marks all the way down. And then I go so that it's parallel with the top edge of the building. Where's that one? Mm, that wasn't my best drawing. I was a little off and they start to move away there. So now I see how these things move away. And I can do things too, like add details to the building, like now I go, maybe not that one, maybe I go every other and add just a touch of a little line, not that one. So this one's gotta be a little closer because it's further away there and I could, I get a little more detail, a little more like fancier looking window. So, you know, play with stuff like that. Maybe you do, you see, oh, now maybe I think, oh, I should do that with everyone. I don't know, I, there's so many possibilities. And I might go back in and darken these edges just to give it a little more weight because this building looks like it needs. I always tend to start by drawing lightly, especially in perspective drawing because um, I end up doing so much erasing. But sometimes then the buildings look like they're not quite finished. And I tend to use my ruler for the entire drawing because I feel like when I don't, then it, things like the style of the drawing doesn't, doesn't match. So as I say that, I'm not doing that here, but like, you know, maybe then I make these edges a little thicker. Maybe I guess so you can play with it to make it look even more believable. And I would come all the way around and add those details on all the other sides. Now when I'm done, I'm going to get rid of this vanishing point because there really isn't a point in the sky. But if I wanted to follow this artist, this lovely drawing that they did, which I will credit in my um, notes for this video, um, to do the clouds. I can use the side of my pencil. I hold it a little further down, closer to the eraser, so that I'm not pressing too hard. And I don't blend with my finger. I think you get messy, smudgy blending that way. But if I use light pressure with the side of a pencil, and I can layer when I want it darker, maybe I do like this is an edge of a cloud, so I go a little darker, and then I'm gonna leave it white. And I would come around and add you know, just a little bit of detail here on the sides and things like that. Oh, I forgot the corner buildings. Now notice here, so like this works. I could do this over here, but over here, this looks like something's missing, doesn't it? Like this is a building, but yet like it's kind of on the side. So if you have these buildings, when you get to the corners, how could I almost forget this? You gotta draw two sides of the top. So I have the vertical and the horizontal. See like over here, and this is my check. If I draw a horizontal line here, it's covered by the building, so I don't need that one. Here, the horizontal line, that gives me my edge because it's on the horizontal bottom edge. If I do a vertical line here, no, I don't see it. If I do a vertical line here, this is good, but then if I wanted to do this side here, I wanted to draw the other corner, it doesn't make, it doesn't, I see an edge. So if you'd see that edge, when you're in the corners, you gotta draw two sides. Basically, you need a vertical and a horizontal in that corner. So if I were drawing a building over here, I also need the two sides. I need the vertical, that would have been the horizontal. That's not the vertical, that's the horizontal. This is, now I'm doing the vertical, mm-hmm. Because I'm in the corner, I need both sides. And then, oh, let's pretend this was here, still here. Mm-hmm, there's my vanishing point. It came back, oh, look, it reappeared, yay! And then I would draw all three lines away from, is it, where is it? Maybe I should make sure that's it. Oh, that actually isn't bad. It lines up. So, there we go. And then this. 
So now do you see how this building makes sense in space? I can see it's coming out of the edge. So if you're in the corners, you need two sides. You need the two sides of that top edge you'd see. So now I can do things over here like maybe, I'm gonna go quick because you know, tension spans are short here, people. I know these things. It's probably already past five minutes, which means you might have already stopped watching. But in case you are, good for you. Good for you. You're gonna have a cooler drawing. There you go. Oh, see, now it's believable that way. And I'm gonna go across here and here and make my tick mark, just like this. So I can continue to build all of these things and make it look 3D and shade and get these, you know, these distances and things enlarging as they go away. More space for between your windows here. You can play with light and dark. You can play with maybe the outside edge is clean. Lots of options. Is it fun? Have fun. Okay. <laughs>